It's time we look back at one of the classics of the slasher genre. <laughs> A classic slasher. <laughs> I make myself laugh sometimes. <laughs> anyway, this summer camp-themed slasher film has inspired everything from conventions to reunions to fan films and has even made icons out of its lead actors. I am, of course, talking about Friday the 3rd, um, I mean, Sleepaway Camp. It's easy for me to get those confused, because one slasher is always just like the other. Nightmare on Elm Street and Black Christmas? Totally the same movie. But let's find out exactly what made Sleepaway Camp the cult classic of the video store shelves that it is. And by that, I mean I'm just gonna sit here and make fun of it. Because that's what I do. You think I was renting shit like this off the shelves in the 80s and 90s? Of course not. I was repeatedly renting Alan Rudolph's Welcome to L.A. Luckily, it was always checked in. It was like I was the only one who had any kind of interest in that movie, but I know that can't be true. Out of curiosity, what the hell production company made the- That was abrupt. Just jumping right into things, are we? Must resist urge to overlay the Friday the 13th soundtrack. Well, maybe this movie has a memorable theme of its own. I'm having a hard time following the lyrics of this music. Hey, get away from me with that pail of water, I'll kill you. Okay, are there shenanigans going on in the sound booth that I should know about? They do know they're recording, right? Fuck me, will someone shut these ghosts up? We're trying to film a scene here. You know, once all the dead bodies got swept away, Jonestown really was a nice looking place. Hey, it's a prologue in a horror film. What's the worst that could happen? Daddy, come in, you leave me alone. Peter started it. I did not, you liar. Did too. Did not. Muppet babies, I understand. But Jersey Shore babies? Something bad needs to happen to them then so it can set things right in the future. For a minute. Uh oh. <laughs> I know what's gonna happen. And it's gonna be hilarious. It's true, if you swim in place, you'll move out of the way much quicker. We get it. You're acting. Shit, that life jacket was worth like 10 bucks. Cut to eight years later and that speedboat has never been the same since. It, uh, oh, no, oh, I see. We're, we're following the surviving child who is now living with her cousin. Damn it, the boat was the most likable character in that scene. Hurry, sweeties, we don't want to be late for the boss. Goodness, no. That wouldn't do at all. The hell was that? Any chips? Why, of course. I believe there's a whole bag. That's... That's the kind of delivery we're going for here? This isn't acting. This is a reality show starring Paula Poundstone. Now what? I believe that I've forgotten something. Now what can it be? Dignity. You forgot your dignity. Oh, I remember what it is. I knew I wouldn't forget. I just kept reminding myself. In fact, I tied a string around... around my finger so I wouldn't forget. Joan Crawford's tampon doesn't overact this much. Good old mom's at it again. That's your mom? How are you still sane? Even though they know that I am a doctor. And she's a doctor? There is such a thing as too much bedside manner. <laughs> Cancer! Yay! How in the fuck did all of these takes end with the director saying, Cut! Perfect! I'm guessing booze. 
Meanwhile, Freddy Krueger is dropping off the kids from the beginning of Elm Street 2, and we get to meet our main camp director. Will you move your butt? Come on, you're going out overtime here! Classy. He's like George Burns crossed with Baby Herman. Maybe the other employees are on the level. Hey, look at all that young, fresh chicken. You mean the kids? Where I come from, we call them baldies. Baldies? They have plenty of hair on top. I mean, maybe not down it. Oh, fuck me, he's a diddler. Party. They're too young to even understand what's on your mind. <laughs> yes, but I'm sure that they still don't want him to fuck them. There ain't no such thing as being too young. You're just too old. <laughs> Oh, pedophilia. Hey look, a wandering Neil Patrick Harris. I was wondered when they turned Starship Troopers into an 80s kids show. Even Judy Jailbait made it back this summer. Don't you know girls mature before boys? That's bullshit and you know it. Bitch. Yeah, damn bitch. Cocksucking whore. Does everyone have a fucking attitude at this camp? By the way, for those of you who don't know, the name is Meg. M-E-G. C-U-N-T. Got it. Out of all these kids, the most relatable one is Angela, the catatonic one. Looks like we got a real win out here. No ain't kidding. Oh, man. Someone is totally getting their hand put in warm water tonight. It's gonna make finding a seat at lunchtime very awkward. Oh, hey, they're singing the movie's opening theme. It's nice. As you can see, Pat Benatar is most certainly not amused with Angela. Johnny Benchpress, on the other hand, a little less bitchy. I tell you what, how about if you and me take a walk into the kitchen and see if we can find you something you like? That sound okay? And by that, I mean I'm gonna put you in the capable hands of the pedophile chef. Well, hello there, Angela. <sighs> Does everyone get raped at summer camp? I think I got something you're gonna like real good. Please tell me it's a delicious tab cola. Huh? Oh, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing. I was just trying to stick my penis in her mouth. Nothing more. Because I scared her. figure. The guy who's constantly making child molestation jokes and faces like this. Just may have done something inappropriate with a child. I don't think anyone's gonna shed a tear if this character is bumped off. What the, what the hell are you doing? Just free one of your hands and push the pot of boiling water out of the way. It's not that hard. But they do have a special effects makeup guy on hand, so best put him to good use. Transforming little Melvin into a hideously deformed creature of superhuman size and strength. Oh. Melvin became the Toxic oh. Avenger. <laughs> no, he's not the Toxic Avenger. Just a boiled pederast. Okay, I get it. You're in pain. And you paid a lot for those effects, so damn it, you're gonna show it. What's the prognosis, Doc? Well, he's badly burned all over. Thank you, Doctor. Any other simplifications we can add to this conversation? In the future, I hope the rest of you be more careful. Will do. Next time I try touching a child, I'll make sure not to hover over the biggest pot of boiling water I've ever seen. But, uh, but seriously, can we finally do something about the flypaper over the soup? I know whenever I catch someone coming onto my underage cousin, the first thing I do, make my friend eat ass. Three! <laughs> All part of the summer camp experience. Swimming, sports, romance, rim jobs. Speaking of sports, it's not a summer camp movie without a little baseball and... 
<laughs> well, this answers my question about whether he's the pitcher or the catcher. Do you have a mind, asswipe? Buck a man, asshole. Buck a man? Buck a man? Oh, sorry. I thought you said fuck a man because. Well. Eat shit and die, Ricky! Eat shit and live, Bill. Yeah, this is camp funded by Andrew Dice Clay? Seriously! Such foul language. Looks like they've switched up their pitcher with Gino Power Top Torelli. We're having some real competition next time. Yeah! Maybe the girls want a game! <laughs> They would, except that you boys seem to be wearing their clothes. Fuck you! Okay, geez, you guys are straight. You're totally straight. I mean, who wants to go ski today with 15 guys and only five girls? Right? I mean, if you get rid of the five girls, well, then we have a plan. But at least take along Angela for good measure. Listen, Angela, let's say uh, me and you go for a little walk somewhere. What are we talk about tonight, huh? And when hitting on her doesn't work, just insult her. What's the matter? Can't you talk? I told you she was playing with half a deck. Angela the Nutcake. Ain't that right, Angela? Ain't you Looney Tunes? Stupid jocks think they're so homoerotic. Wait till they see my hat. Asshole! Fox! I'm gonna beat your fucking ass with it! You and one arm! Pricks! Get your mouth, will you melt me? I'll give a shit! Be careful, son. You're gonna get your mouth washed out with ass. <laughs> After all that trouble, though, still no takers for the evening sausage fest? Why don't you start with Ada? The hell with you, then! You don't know how to have any fun anyway! <laughs> Into the steaming hot water, boys! This lake isn't gonna salt itself! At least now I know I'm watching the uncut version. No, seriously, the most popular DVD version of this movie is heavily edited. It cuts down nearly all of the death scenes, and this shot of man-ass. One kid managed to score, though, until he dumped her in the lake that is probably mostly splooged now. You bastard, I hate you! She's so mad, she turned into a completely different actress. Unfortunately, he's interrupted by the mermaid from Gums, only this time he's doing the blowing. Is this what's called getting caught with your pants down? Stupid oh, shit! Man. No, this is what I call overcompensating. <laughs> this movie's as homoerotic as the XFL. How is it that it's summer camp, and it's the early 80s, and with all those young, horny bodies, the only thing to end up inside someone was a fucking snake? <laughs> I'm sure that dummy belongs to someone. As far as I can tell, the boy drowned. Pfft. Is your brother also the doctor in this town? He was just as enlightening as you are. I was just thinking. I remember that boy being a pretty damn good swimmer. Well then, case closed. Good swimmers never ever drown. It has to be murder. And why don't you guys go ahead and speak louder? I don't think the grade schoolers heard you. But at least they saw you drag away the body. If you'll excuse me, I have the unpleasant task of informing the boy's parents. Thank you, help officer. You are sued! So fucking sued! These kids seem to be doing pretty well, given that two people have suddenly died. In fact, Ball here even has a shot with Angela. We go back a long time. We've been best friends for three years already. We always seem to get into trouble together. Last year we hung the girls' panties on the flagpole. With lines like that, I think he's sealed the deal. I was wondering, you want to go to the movie in the rec hall tonight? It's, uh, it's uh, this movie called Chatterbox. I think it's about a magical music box or something. Hey, how come Angela gets to talk to the boys all day and we have to play volleyball? Oh, come on. You can't suck all the underage boys' dicks, especially now that the pedophile chef is gone. Luckily, Detective Linden from The Killing shows up as the good counselor. Not to say she isn't the only good counselor. You'll see this at the end of the summer if you're lucky. Now, who wants to hop in the orgy pile? <laughs> Nothing like a swim after a good gangbang, I always say. If you're lucky, when you're making out later, maybe she'll have a flashback to her two dads boning. 
Jesus, this character is so dead that her character should be classified as suicidal by this point. Hey, Angela, how come you never take showers when the rest of us do? It's a weird line. I wonder if that'll come into play later in the movie. She's a real carpenter's dream! The lad is a board and needs a screw! That's enough! Fuck off! Can this just be called the real housewives of sleepaway camp at this point? But alright, alright, no, 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 that's, uh, that, that's too insulting. Comparing anything to a reality show is just crossing the line, no matter how upset I get. <laughs> Come on, boys! These shorts aren't gonna get any wetter! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bastards are gonna pay for this! Cocksuckers! Tricks! Oh. Fuck my you chicken shit! Come on, you fucking pussies! I'll kick your freaking ass all over this goddamn camp, you fuck! For a second, I thought he was going too far, but then he added the word freaking. Possibly because he ran out of all the other words. Now let's just stand here and wait for the dissolve cut to pass. Hey guys, I'm gonna go look at this nudie magazine. It's got naked girls in it, you know, girls, women, naked. It, it totally does. I'm gonna look at it. Added that in. <laughs> and I also added this. Not the beast! Ah! Oh, no, my eyes! My eyes! Ah! Ah! Easiest fucking reference I ever made. I almost feel lazy for adding it. Why can't you just crawl under the stall? Plus, where did the bees go? I am not gonna reference the happening. Oh, there they are. That's funny. I remember that boy being a pretty damn good beekeeper. Nothing a little game a capture the flag can't fix? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Just all run around in one small pile. That's strategy. Angela here seems just as enthused in this game as I am. Tell you what, give me about five minutes, and when I see them run after you, I'll sneak out and grab the flag. I hope it works. I personally am much more intrigued by the preteen love triangle. We're a real scumbag, Judy, you know that? Fuck you, Ricky! These kids keep up that language. They could make a living cursing at stuff they don't like. But you know, I'm sure he's sorry at say... Oh, oh right, right. She's 15. <laughs> Fucking hate it when that happens. So, what's the matter? stare. <laughs> At least it'll haunt E.T.'s vagina right the fuck out of my nightmares. What the hell is this guy doing in the background? He's regretting not being there to punch the bees off of this kid, or to stop these kids from kicking sand on Angela. Fuckers! <laughs> he just calls the kids fuckers. Oh well, hey, at least the kids get what's coming to them. That's right, they all get chopped up with a fucking axe. Friday the 13th got its action over with before the kids even showed up. This one puts the kids in the movie, then fucking kills them. All while being incredibly sleazy. Listen, I was thinking, remember that dinner you promised me up at your place? Yeah. I saw a snake crawl out of a dead kid's mouth, and this is what's making me ew. The movie certainly wants us to think it's Angela, but you can't fool me. I know lover boys work anywhere. No band can possibly be that catchy. Oh, no! Oh, but at least the lover boy poster seems to be alright. Perfect. You got half the blood off of it. Now just place the body in the shower so it'll conveniently pop out when he walks by. Sir, this is hardly the time, place, or the type of movie that you should be monologuing in. 
actually, she was probably about the hottest piece who was ever going to bang you. So, you know what? Monologue away. Hell, just beat the living shit out of this kid while you're at it. It's sleepaway camp. When we're not killing children, we're beating them to a bloody fucking pulp. Or secretly hoping that they're over 18. Chicken shit. Oof, god damn it. My pussy will get pounded, even if it's by a damn curling iron. It's a good thing she was knocked out first, because she's clearly not making a sound. There, just stick her back there and hope she isn't found at the next orgy. And leave some room for this guy, too. It can't be. It can't be! Shit. Not a bad effect, really. Seriously, it was so convincing it knocked this guy's mustache off and replaced it with two black pieces of tape. At least someone in this movie is finally going to get nailed. What about our clothes? Take them off. Oh, shit. Hey, what are you cutting away for? I totally thought you were going to show two 13-year-olds fuck. They do cut back to them, and dude seems happy enough. <laughs> It's Angela! Angela! Oh, well, he's dead. Angela! Are you okay? And Angela's the killer. Oh, do we really need her back in this movie? I don't care if this is a flashback. What could it possibly reveal, except for the butchering of a few more line readings? You see, I've always wanted a little girl. But of course, when my husband left, well, that's all water under the bridge, as I always say. Water under the bridge. Your husband didn't just leave. He buried himself in Giant Stadium just to get away from you. I really don't care about the rest of this. Angela's the killer, movie's over, and that's the end of that. Angela. Such a lovely name. Why, I believe it means angel. Why, yes, I'm sure it does. I know you're going to like that name. Won't you, Peter? God, she's a boy. That's a dick! Well, that was unexpected, and let me guess, it's totally out of nowhere without any hints along the way. Except for this, of course. How come you never take showers when the rest of us do? And there was this, too. Why, they're your physicals, of course. Just be careful not to tell anyone how you got them. Not really sure what's going on here. And we didn't really get a good look at the kid at the beginning. Okay, so it planned its twist out fine, and it was very shocking. But how is it that male ass has to get cut for the edited version, but preteen dick? Oh, no, no. That's okay. You get a pass on that one. And props for not giving the twist away in the movie's trailer. Dear Mom and Dad, I've been at a sleepaway camp for almost... Three weeks, and I'm getting very scared. Who the hell is writing this letter? None of the kids seem scared, they're just playing capture the flag. And by the way, it's Camp Arawak. Notice the shirt. Sleep away, Camp. You won't be coming home. Unless you're one of the 500 campers who did go home, then you'll be fine. Not every slasher film has a twist ending so memorable that it makes the movie spawn off quote-unquote sequels, short films with side characters, and references on sketch comedy shows. Oh my god! Angela's the killer and she was really a boy! Oh my god! Somebody remembered this movie and wrote a comedy sketch about it! That is probably one of the greatest things ever. 
but I will stick with real surprise penis movies, thank you very much, such as The Crying Game, even though that really wasn't the end of that movie, more like the middle, but who cares? The Crying Game wasn't a slasher film, so that instantly makes it better. You slasher fans can have your sleepaway camp, but I know a good steam room to go to when I want water balloon fights, bunk orgies, and shorty shorts. Perhaps I've said too much. Wait till you get a load of Judy! Man, oh man!